All right, y'all. It's time to make that black rice ramen that I bought off of Amazon that I was supposed to make for the wear a color, eat a color for a day. I chose black. After I made that first dish, I was over it. I was over it. So I still have this and the black rice, which we're going to make a nice taco bowl out of next week. But for today, I have a Japanese recipe that I have never used before. So I got this recipe. I got this recipe from olivesfordinner.com and I like this website because there were no ads on there if there are ads on there now there weren't when I went on there so so this recipe calls for mirin which is a Japanese cooking wine made out of fermented rice I had to look that up I did not know what that was I don't have it I'm just going to use white wine vinegar dark sesame seed oil soy sauce I have reduced sodium soy sauce I get that from Aldi one teaspoon of raw agave syrup. I love a recipe that doesn't use sugar because sugar prevents our body from absorbing nutrients from food. So it's like, what's the point of putting sugar in your food? And then sriracha. I have some hot sauce around here somewhere. I'll use that. So that is for the sauce that we're going to put on after we boil the noodles. I'm boiling, I'm boiling some hot water right now. I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in there because you know I love to salt my water, baby. Need some flavor. So for the noodles, I've got two bundles of black rice noodles. We already have that. One cup of minced kale. Now my son, Ra, he loves kale. He loves kale. He eats like a horse. And then fresh basil, fresh mint. I ordered that from Aldi. I've never cooked with fresh mint ever in my life. I'm excited about that. Thai red chilies, which I do not have. And it's optional anyway. And then white and black sesame seeds, which Judah always has because he puts them on his everything bagel. Shout out to the Flower Alchemist. That's my son. He has his own at-home bakery, a vegan bakery. I'm so proud of him. I'm just gathering the ingredients. But if you notice, there's no seasonings in here. They're using basically the sesame seed oil and the soy sauce, the mint, and the basil to flavor this. Now I'm gonna add some garlic. I think this would be really good. I don't usually make greens without garlic. So I'm gonna add garlic to this and I'm not gonna do what I usually do and start adding a whole bunch of stuff. But I do think I'm gonna add a little bit of my fairy season. I'm not gonna hold it. Cause I know my kid and I know that they like flavor and this gives a little blank. Even when I do my stir fries, I use my fury seasoning. I can use up to 14 different seasonings and spices. This is my pre-mixed seasoned salt. You know what I'm saying? It's got all the good stuff in there. Dried mustard, paprika, smoked paprika, pink salt, the sea salt. I have all types of stuff in here. Fury seasoning. Every woman should have her own, her seasoning. You feel me? It'll make cooking so much faster. And the pre-mixed ones you get in a the store, they have additives like cornstarch and stuff so that they don't stick together. Just make your own. Okay. All right, let's start this prep work then. Our water is boiling. We're gonna boil it for five to seven minutes. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of salt in the water. In the mood to use my pink salt today. Like every day. Salt so many different ways. Oh, I love to cook and I love to clean. Just cause I'm scorpion doesn't mean I'm mean. Cause I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. I love to cook, and I love to clean. That's how they came out. It said two cups of water. I used four, and I'm glad that I did. I think it may have been just like one cup for one half. No, it said two cups of water. It said two cups of water, but I used four because I have a wider Dutch oven. It looks like hair. Five to seven minutes, I'm gonna set a timer. I'm putting them on medium, and I have my timer on for seven minutes. Okay. I was just cleaning this kale, and I was finding these little hard bits. So I'm gonna take those out, because I don't want it to mess up the integrity of like the texture. Even though under normal circumstances, I feel like Raja likes the crunchiness of these parts. Noodle, I don't think so. 
And the recipe only calls for one cup of kale. Okay, I'm gonna strain this and then go cut up the garlic and make the sauce. I think it's primarily just soy and agave. Oh, on this one? There's one. Girl, how you got your glasses on? I still can't see. The alarm just went off, so that means the noodles are done. It says that these need to be rinsed in cold water, so let's go on and do that. Remember, the handles on these Dutch ovens are very hot, so you want to use the holders that they give you with the ones that are on my store. This is very, very hot. Kale's waiting. Let's make our sauce. Okay, so now it's time to make the sauce. Now everything is calling for like two tablespoons, but I'm gonna use a fourth of a cup because I need a lot of sauce. So I'm gonna go in with my soy sauce first. And obviously I wish everything I had was organic and all natural, but it's not. One day it will be. This is what we're using. Reduced sodium soy. So I have the soy sauce, half a teaspoon of rice vinegar. In place of the rice vinegar, since rice vinegar is clear and sweet, I'm going to use white wine vinegar. We used to have that vinegar, so half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, let me use a whole teaspoon because my, my kid loves. Well, I'm just, I'm making adjustments because I'm using more than what I'm supposed to, but you get the general idea. We're gonna have to alchemize the situation. Okay, so we got soy sauce, right wine, rice wine vinegar, and now the agave syrup. I really thought I had everything. So they want one tablespoon. Okay, yeah, so I'll do. That's definitely enough. Mmm, this smells good already. thinking how I was going to incorporate the garlic. I believe since the boys, when they make their dipping sauce for their bread, they use vinegar and oil. See, I use oil and salt. I got there from their Hungarian daddy eating these raw peppers and raw cucumbers and what else? Raw olives, raw onions. I got that from their daddy. And so you make this dip with vinegar and oil, anything except vegetable oil. Just use like olive oil or avocado oil, something like this. Not like coconut oil or anything like that. A dipping oil, put a little salt on there. Mm, so good. Anyway, they added garlic to it. So I was wondering how I would incorporate this garlic if I needed to cook it first, but I'm just gonna add it to this. I don't even think I'm gonna have to use my fairy seasoning. Let's taste. Oh my God. That is so good. That is so good. It looks like he's gonna love it. So return the rinsed noodles to the pot, then add in the minced kale, mint and basil to the warm pan and allow to wilt for a minute or two. So she doesn't exactly say turn the heat off, but she says to warm pan and that pan is still very warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Um, add in the noodles. Hold on. So she want me to put these in a the pot without any oil? Return the noodles to the rinse pot. Oh, let me, I'm, I'm going to at least spray my pot because you're not finna stick to my pot. Okay, so return the noodles. 
noodles returned. And then she says, put in the kale and the mint and the basil so they wilt. So let me get something to stir that. And I haven't cut this up yet. I just, here's the basil, here's the mint. They wanted a fourth of a cup of the basil, so I just used the whole sprig. And then they wanted two tablespoons of the basil, the mint. So I just cut, I just used two. Where are they? They wanted two tablespoons of mint, so I just used two leaves. I'm gonna cut them up real quick. Now the pan is very hot, and I have not turned the pan back on. Something that told me that I could have added more kale to this, that he would have liked more kale, but this is me trying to follow instructions so bad that I mess up. Did I tell you about the time that I left my dog in a locked car by accident because I was so paranoid about leaving my dog in an air conditioned car, even though that's completely fine. And this Karen had just like screamed at me. So instead of listening to my own instincts, I freaked out and locked him in the car and then had to call the fire department. It was so embarrassing. I feel like a horrible dog mom. Oh, cause I let this Karen play on my top. Okay, so heats off, drain, rinse the weed out. Babel to one pan. Allow to wilt for a minute or two, stirring occasionally. I want to put this on low. Add in a few tastes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're gonna let this wilt for a second, and then I'm gonna stir in the sauce. That sauce is so good, I definitely don't need any Fury seasoning. I was tripping. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like so far. It still has to wilt. It says give it a few minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, it's been a few minutes. The kale hasn't wilted that much, but I also wasn't turning it. And I also didn't put any of the sauce in, which I was supposed to. I forgot to add the sesame oil, so I did. So I'm gonna add the sauce now. And it says just stir and that's it. I already know Roger's gonna love this. And I'm glad I made more sauce. I might even have to make more sauce. I might have to taste it and make sure that there's enough sauce on the noodles. I can smell it though. It smells really good. Now you can't tell, but it is covered in sauce. It is aromatic. The noodles have a really nice texture. The kale is perfect. Like, this is right up his alley. He's going to love this. Let's get it plated. Final looks with the sesame seeds. Friend, you know this is a win. We did that. We did that, friend. It's too early to break my fast, but this is delicious. I'm really happy with it. This is one I would buy again. I would buy this again, yes. Everything that you've seen featured in my video today is available on my Amazon storefront. Thank you to everyone who has made a purchase. I love you. I'll catch you in the next video. We still have to make that black rice. We'll do that next week. We're going to have some Spanish dishes, okay? All right, cool. Thank you so much for spending your day here with me. I really, really appreciate it. I love you. Shout out to Sweet Life of Queen. This was a great idea. I love you. Peace.